Hey, welcome back, guys. Uh, today, I thought I'd talk a little bit about um, Linux, using Linux, uh, <clears throat> if you want to take online piano lessons, for example. Now, I started uh, taking online piano lessons about a year ago. I really enjoy it, and um, I love music, and so <clears throat> it was a you know terrific continuation for me. So I tried several different uh, online and piano lessons through apps and various things. And the best one that I found for me, and everybody learns differently, but I found that I learned faster uh, using piano software from a company called Playground Sessions. Uh, and this is their website, and um, I really enjoy it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how you can do something like this within Linux. They only have software for Windows or Mac. But uh, using Wine, you can run the software and make it function absolutely fine uh, on your Linux installation. So here I'm using uh, the latest 2004 version of Ubuntu Mate. I really like it. They've made lots of improvements, and it's just, it runs rock solid for me, uh, no matter what type of a computer I'm running it on. I've got it on a little NUC, um, and that runs fine, and I'm, I'm also running it on another computer, this computer, which I use for music, and it has 32 gigs of RAM, and um, runs perfectly well. So I'm going to detail the steps that you would take if you wanted to run this Playground Session software within Linux. And it's really very, very easy. First of all, you download the uh, file, the MSI. You see Windows here? So you would go to the playgroundsessions.com, go to Downloads, click on the Windows version, and it will want to download it to your desktop. I've already done that. So that's how you get the, the software. But once you download it, don't do anything yet. You're gonna have to load uh, Wine into your into your uh, Linux installation. Now, I find that the staging branch, as you can see at the bottom of this window, uh, you uh, you have the uh, the terminal command to install the staging version. And this Wine HQ, it's top notch. They have easy instructions. Just go through the instructions here. It's pretty easy. You're going to enable 32-bit architecture by running this command in terminal. And then you're going to add the, uh, the repository key. You'll load the repository on this next command. And you'll just need to know what version of Ubuntu um, or Linux Mint, any Ubuntu-based dis Linux distribution should work fine with this. So you'll load the, the, the re repository based on what version of Linux that you're running. And then you'll pick one of the, one of the branches to install. You can, you can do stable, development, or staging. I find staging works best for me. So once you download that, then you're going to uh, open up Wine. Now, I'm going to show you the command to run. Let me close this for a moment. Okay, so in a in a terminal, once you once you download and install Wine Staging, then you're going to run in terminal Wine CFG. Let me show you what happens after you install that. So I'm, I'm, just, I'm just going to close that, open up a new terminal window. And when you first type in Wine CFG, it's going to install three Windows configuration files that Wine needs in order to run Windows programs on your computer. So you're going to click Install three times once it finishes installing those three files, then you will see this window here. 
The only thing I want to make, I want you to do is make sure it says Windows 10. So you're going to go click the drop down and go highlight Windows 10, click apply, and then click OK. So then that'll give you your wine installation. Now, what you'll then want to do is go to the file that you downloaded for Playground Sessions. And then if that's in your download folder, let's see if that's where mine is. Okay, see this Playground MSI? You're going to right click, open with Wine Windows Prog Program Loader. Then it's gonna bring up an install window just as it would on Windows and you're gonna click through to do the, the uh, complete installation. Once you do that, it's going to add Playground Sessions to your Wine menu. And you can see that right up here. Okay. Now, once you have that, you, of course, you can right click and put it on the desktop or pin it to your favorites menu. I put it on the desktop and I'm going to show you something. Um, if you go into, well, I'll show you, if you go, if you want to make any file modifications, which there is one file modification you'll need to make in order for Playground Sessions to run perfectly clean. Now, I, I'm going to show you what that is. First, I'm going to have to revert it back to what you're going to see when you first open Playground Sessions. Now I need to show hidden files, then I'm going to go down to Wine, Drive C, Windows, Fonts. You see this font? Okay, you, you're going to need that font. So I'm going to show you why you're going to need it. I'm going to, I'm going to take it out of there and paste it to my desktop. See it? So it's gone from the fonts folder in Wine. Now I want you to see what happens when I open up Playground Sessions. So you can double click your Playground Sessions icon and it's going to open up just like it would uh, on, a, on a normal. But here is the difference. Without that font, you see these notes that should show B flat? You see the little font is not correct? That's one issue. That's the only issue that you'll need to resolve. And I'm going to give you the ability to solve that. But the flat symbol from music notation does not appear properly. That's a Windows uh, font file configuration issue within Wine. Now, uh, believe it or not, it's actually a problem with the regular version of Windows also. So this, this is a fix you have to do uh, both in the Windows version of Playground Sessions and the Windows version through Wine in Linux. So I'm going to close this out. Then I'm going to go back to that folder. Show hidden files. Go to Wine, Drive C, Windows, Fonts. Now I'm going to cut and paste the file back in. Okay, now there's the file back in. Now I'm going to reopen Playground Sessions. And I will go back to the music. And as you can see, the, see the little flat symbol on B flat? I'll open that up. You see the flat symbol? Everything shows perfectly now. So that's a font that you'll need to add. I'm going to put a link in the show notes uh, giving you access to my GitHub 
folder where you can download that font. So that'll be pretty easy for you to do. Just download the font from my GitHub folder. I'll give you the link and then paste that into the, the, the uh, folder that I showed you, Wine, uh, C Drive, Windows, Font. So I'll give you the, the location of the file to paste that into. Once you do that, then of course everything looks fine. Now, there should be not much you have to do to get everything working properly. Now, when you have uh, an, an electronic piano, a digital piano, and you want to hook it up to your computer, basically there are two types of connections. Now, I'm going to show you the I'm going to show you the types. These these are the types of connectors that you would typically need for a new for a new keyboard and a relatively new computer, you'll use what's referred to as a printer cable. Okay, this goes into your, uh, your piano and this USB goes into your computer. That normally gives you the configuration that you need. That's what I'm using on my, on my computer. The other one, if you have an older keyboard, you may need a USB to MIDI cable. And that's this. And you can see, here's your USB, and there are your two MIDI connectors. So, you may need, depending on the age of your keyboard, you may need one or the other. The first one that I showed you is the more modern one, and that is re commonly referred to as a printer cable. It's actually a printer cable. Uh, it's got a USB on one side, and this on the other, which normally goes into your printer. It also goes into your digital keyboard. So. One of those is probably what you're going to need to hook up your keyboard to your computer, your Linux computer. Okay, so once you do that, uh, the only thing you'll need to do, if you go into Playground Sessions and go into Edit and then User setting, Settings, now I'm going to show you how to configure. Once your computer is, is connected, to your keyboard, there'll be a configuration file. Now, a, a configuration process. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna configure my MIDI keyboard and I'm gonna have to, I just turned my keyboard on, so I'm gonna have to close out Playground Sessions and then reopen it. So my, now my, my keyboard is connected. My, so let's see what that process is. You're going to click on Configure MIDI Keyboard. There's my digital piano. You see that? It's under MIDI 1. I'm going to click Next. Now it wants me to strike the leftmost key. So I did that. Now it wants me to stroke the right key. And now it's telling me I have an 88 key keyboard and it was detected properly. I'm going to finish that up. Uh, connect is your audio device. So you're going to leave it on Windows Audio. And what I, I have my uh, desktop speakers connected, which are, is actually going through my uh, HDMI from my monitor. So that's where I, but all you would do is click here and pick the speakers that you want to use as output. And that's the one I want. And everything is done. Now, if I go back to the song that I was playing, I'll show you 
basically playground sessions. It's a it's a really um, comprehensive instruction program for learning the piano at home. And once once you interface to your keyboard, once you strike a key, you can see it show up on the screen. You see that? So as you play, it knows whether you are hitting the right key or the wrong key. So let's see, I'm going to play this top line just to show you how that works. One, two, three, four, one, two, set, go. You can see, you can see that where I hit the correct key, it was green, and where I hit an incorrect key is red. It keeps track of your score, and it, when you get an eight, at least an 80% correct, it will allow you to go on to the next lesson. So, it works really well for me. Um, I enjoy it because it, you know it, it, it gives you something to do, keeps your mind occupied, gets your mind off the negative stuff, and onto something positive, like learning how to how to play the piano. I had always wanted to learn, and so now I've uh, I've been able to do that. So, if you're running Linux, that doesn't mean that you can't get involved in uh, digital music, electronic keyboards. And really enjoy the the positive experience of music. So, I believe that is all you'll need. You've got wine staging instructions. You've got playground sessions, install instructions. You've got the font so that your uh, music flat notation symbol is correct. And I'm going to put the, in the show notes the location of my GitHub. So you can download that font, and I'll also put the, the instructions for where to place that font. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for, uh, very much for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.